all right welcome back guys so today we'll i mean in this tutorial we'll actually start to set up the whole uh project like the code base and everything so the, let's start with the server side as i've said before uh, i hope you have in, you have npm and node installed if you don't you can check if it's in installed properly My, i'm using node version 4.3.1 but there are no uh, limitations you can constraints you can use any you can even use the latest version of node because we are making a really simple project all right, and my npm version is a 2.414.12. Doesn't matter. I'm using, I'm making a really simple app, and you can use any version. All right. So first, we would install the Express Generator, and even though I already have it installed, I'm still going to do this in front of you just to show how it looks. So you install the Express Generator globally, and then after that, you could use the Express command to generate your <clears throat> um boilerplate boilerplate template sort of so i'm using jade as my view engine and my app name is simple mean app app all right so there you have it i already have this uh generated now let's move to this directory so i'm in the my simple mean app directory and you can see there are lots of files generated already so let's open this in our text editor or our ide so all right no not create i'm actually opening a project oh and if you're wondering why my uh, laptop has new script written all over it's my um it's my company laptop so i hope that won't be a problem for people <laughs> i hope i don't have a problem in my job but yeah anyways so yeah, there you have it. I have my whole um, app set up and these are the folders over here. This is how the app.js looks like. I'm also going to be cleaning up this uh, file, these files and try to make it my own because this is not the product that we want in the end. I'm trying, I'm going to try to use the basic code, con the software engineering coding conventions as much as I can in this whole uh, series. So bear with me with that. All right, so we have the app.js file, in, in, and in this video, we'll be explaining what each of the file and folder does and creating some additional folders for our purpose. So the app.js is the basic server-side configurations. You have uh, mod, the node npm modules that you can require or import. Like It's basically importing the npm modules. This is imported by default by the express generator. And you have an instance of the app created like this, var app equals express. So that means you're creating an instance of an express app. You have the view engine set as Jade because in the beginning I have used Jade as my default view engine. And it doesn't matter because of course we'll be changing, we'll not be using the front, the client side from a node app. You can, but I prefer to separate my client side and the server side. And uh, yeah, you have, a uh, you can use the routes over here. These are the, there are two routes at the moment, and um, the route slash I mean the home route will basically render the index, the home page, and slash users will render the users page. And these pages are already there. Well, users isn't there, I guess, but index is. All right. So and then you have some basic uh, how to like how how to catch the error and forwarding the error these are error handlers over here and the, this module.exports is basically exposing your instance to the exposing your instance to be used everywhere you could now you can now import this file import this app.js file in your app application later on all right so as you can see there's a routes directory and then in the routes you have your routes uh, declared like like basically like endpoints but here right now they're just rendering the page they're not doing any sort of functionality what we will be doing is creating endpoints for a basic uh, cms or a basic blog like a post sort of uh, like where you can create a post you can add a post i mean you can create a post you can edit a post you can uh, get the post so a basic crud application all right and then you have the users routes which is basically just sending the same thing and uh, yeah it's just rendering again and sending something with it and this and index.js is basically just rendering the index page the index pages over here the index.jade right 
so you have the public folder which will uh, which will have your uh, bootstrap or javascript or like you have your images you have your style sheets and you have your js files external js files for designing like jquery if you're using so you have those over here these are empty essentially but well there's a style.css and this is like this it just came with the whole generator all right, and uh, you have routes, right? So, and the package.json is where all your dependencies are, your package dependencies, and you can change the version over here and your your node basic, your, your app basically starts with npm start. So if you type npm start, uh, oops, I ran into an error. All right, so first step is to install everything in the package.json so that you generate a node modules folder and your node modules folder has all the essential dependencies like all these packages in uh, in the in the folder all these dependencies all there in the folder so as you can see you have the body parser you have cookie parser you have debug all these packages are now inside the node modules folder and then you can basically start the app hopefully <laughs> right yeah so your app has started now let's go to localhost 3000 yeah, so you're here. You're, you're welcome to Express, and now you have a basic handle uh, boilerplate of Express. Right, so we'll, for our purpose, since we'll be using, um, we'll be creating a whole whole new endpoints of ourselves, I don't like the, the folder directory to be, I mean, the folder structure to be like this. And you could basically write your endpoints over here and then write the functionality of the endpoints in this function callback but i prefer to have everything more modular and more separated out so i would like to create a folder for which we which will have all my controllers so yeah i'm in this i have this oh no, sorry not here i want delete this so i want my controllers folder to be over here so controllers so I'm trying to create a simple MVC app without the view because um, I'm not gonna be serving all my all my stuff from my node app right so you have a controllers folder and you have and I also want um, models folder which will have all my database schema like how my database is laid off I'm sorry. So it's basically being created over here every time. Right. So you have your directory here in the root directory. So what is it called? Right. It's called models. So you have your models directory here. So I have the models directory, the controllers, and I have the, my routes in one directory as well. Right. So um, in the next tutorial, we'll be cre creating a whole schema for the post and then try to like later on, we'll try to also make the endpoints for the post as well. So stay tuned. And I hope this was uh, not so much information in the first go. So and I hope you don't get discouraged by Meanstack because trust me, it is an awesome framework. I mean, Meanstack, I mean, you can just do everything with one language. JavaScript is getting popular day by day and you will love this. All right. So see you in the next tutorial and good luck.